What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Wyatt Davis, guard out of out of uh, Ohio State. Uh, he's he's 6'4 and about 315 pounds. Um, he is one of the players that opted out. So, um, that, that just is what it is. Um, he mostly seemed to play right guard for Ohio State. Uh, and I, I think guard is pretty much where I'd want to keep him. We'll get into that a little bit. Uh, one of the things that um, jumps off the screen immediately is his ability to finish plays and his willingness to finish plays. Um, when he gets his hands on you or if, if he ends up getting you on the ground, he is going to make sure that you stay on the ground. Um, there was one play in particular. Uh, I, I wrote these notes down a while ago. I don't remember which game it was. But there was a play where the, his def the, the defender that was coming at him, he hit him. And he fell down. And every time this dude tried to get back up, he, he just walked up to him and just pushed him back down. Pushed him back. He did it like four times. It was hilarious. Um, I love to see that. I love to see offensive linemen being mean. like to see him finishing. Uh, don't just knock somebody down and then just assume they're down for the rest of the play. Um, so I, I definitely love to see that. Um, he climbs really well. I think his athleticism is actually pretty solid. Um, so I think zone runs is going to be good. So he's good at, uh, you know, working with the, he, he's good working with, uh, the other offensive linemen in general. Like if he doesn't have a guy to block, he's good at getting a hand on, uh, the edge rusher or the one tech or whatever to help either his center or his tackle. But he's also very good at helping, let's say the center in this case, uh, in the beginning of the play and then climbing up to block the linebacker on zone runs. Uh, he's, he's pretty good at doing that. So, um, And he's just really good at finding work. Like I said, even if there's not a guy that play that is coming into his gap, even if he looks like he has nothing to do, he will find a way to just put a hand on the one sack or the edge rusher to just try to, try to help a little bit. Uh, his knee bend is pretty good, uh, so that's going to help him with leverage. Um... And overall, I think his base is pretty good. He's pretty good about keeping his his feet um, pretty much parallel to his shoulders. Um, let's see. His hands, they're okay. Um, he does seem to know that he needs to get them inside, which is good. And he doesn't really miss with them. But one thing I will say is I'd like to see him get him a little bit higher. When he puts them inside, he kind of gets them around the stomach a little bit too much. Uh, I'd like to see him get it more on the chest. Uh, and he does get his hands outside sometimes. I'd like to see him eliminate that a little bit. Um, but th that's just something for him to work on. Uh, but he, I will say, though, he is good about fighting with his hands. Like, even if he doesn't get a good hold on you, he doesn't just settle for whatever hold he does get. He's going to keep slapping your hands away and try to get a better hold. It's one thing I do really like about him. Um, let's see. He's really good in uh, gap exchanges, too. Um, if you're a Dolphins fan, you know that that's something that we've struggled with pretty much all year is gap exchanges. But he, he's pretty good at handling that. Uh, he's a solid pulling guard as well, uh, again, for zone run plays. So that's something. Like I said, he moves fairly well. Uh, when he does make mistakes um, and when he does get beat, he does have a pretty good job of, does a pretty good job of recovering. Uh, either using his feet or using his power. Because he does seem to have power. And uh, he handles power pretty well. Um, even if there is a guy that's stronger than him in those cases. Uh, he's pretty good about popping his feet and giving up ground slowly. So, um, let's see. Feet are solid, like I said. Um, yeah. Yeah. Those are pretty much all the positives I wanted to... I, I like to get through the positives before I um, start like doing little nitpicks. Um, there are some things I would like to see him improve on. I will be honest. Um, like I said, I think his hands getting a little bit more consistent would be really good. He also has a tendency to lunge a little bit. Um, and I do not like that at all. Um, it happens especially in the run game. It looks like he might be trying to quick set. But he's not very good at it, to be honest. Uh, and if you're up against some of these better defensive linemen in the NFL, 
and you lunge at them, they're either going to swim move or they're going to pull cloth or they're going to pull down on your hands. In any of those cases, you're going to end up on your face and looking stupid. Um, so I'd like to see him work on not lunging. Um, and I think he lunges because he knows his hands are a little bit inconsistent. So he's wanting to get his hands on you quickly. Um, and that kind of goes into my, um, into my next point. I like to see him punch a little more because other than when he lunges, he doesn't really fire first very much. Uh, he just kind of lets the defensive lineman come to him. And I don't like that. If you're up against the Aaron Donalds of the world. Uh, you don't want to let him get the first move. You want to get your hands on him first. Let, no, you, you just don't want to let him do that to you. Um, also, he has a tendency to sometimes just try to push people rather than grab and get a hold of them. Not a big fan of that. I, I don't know if he's expecting them to fall or, or something like that, but he ends up kind of getting beat sometimes because he just tries to push somebody along and they end up not falling, and they end up going to make a play that if he would have just blocked them and held them and kept them there, they wouldn't have been able to make that play. So, uh, But that, that's just some things for him to work on. Um, overall, I think he's a pretty decent prospect. He's got the strength. He's got the size. He's got the mobility to, be, uh, to have a pretty high ceiling. And I think his floor is okay. I think he can go in and play guard for you relatively decently. You might have some struggles early on. Um, but if you can get his hands to be a little bit more consistent, uh, stop him from lunging, I think he'll pretty much be okay and make sure he gets a hold of people. It, it's all pretty much just the hands because uh, the lunging and the pushing all is because he's not very consistent with his hands. So, But the, the, the thing is, is you can tell that he has the idea. He knows that he's supposed to get his hands inside. He's just not very consistent with it. So... If you can work on that, I think you'll have a really good prospect on your hands. Um, but already, like I said, I think he's an NFL starter right now. But I think he might have some early struggles. But, yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, I appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.